Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, The Road to 56, as Unified Scandinavia. So, where I just left off, we just got the initial unarmament. Now, jumpstart the, jump the arms industry, because we are going to need a lot. So, we're building up a small military for um, the Norwegian coast. And... Stands, I am just going to put this into one giant deck stack. Exercise them up a little bit. This is going to use up a lot of fuel. Yeah, we don't have fighters yet. Just, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of it. Not much use. Unpaid licenses for the public. I'm just going to leave that for now. Now, I could do a, for an electronics company. I could go with just bog standard industrial concern. Just flat up research speed. Again, a different, re a different industrial concern, which gives them, um, makes steel mills much quicker. LKAB, which gives us plus 16 steel, but I don't think we're short of that. Prior concern might be nice. Now, this is an interesting addition. I'm not sure if this is in the base game or in the mod, but by default, 10% re research speed. If we get more than 11 infrastructure in Lapland, Gasterbotten, and Norland, we get 15% research speed and 50% electronics research. Low standard electronics company. Or Ericsson. Increases our coordination, research, reinforcement rate. Go with. Go with Ericsson. Although now I think about it, maybe I should let, save that power for some of these things. Let's see. Even with the refineries we have, we're running very short of fuel. So, oil. It should help the bish. Yeah, right. Which is all this giant debt stack. And the big subs are. Something. Yeah, building these Gothenburg class ships to try and get, get some ex special destroyers. I mean, if they get. Some of these things get sunk, I'm not going to be too pushed. <coughs> so basically the naval plan I have is going to be to try and seal off as much of this as, as possible. Prevent prevent any ships from, enemy ships from landing. Probably not gonna, going to work, but do what we can. So, now as I have enough XP for a army doctrine, I almost invariably go with superior firepower. Soft attack is just too good to pass. Because now that I've got that, I can barely go with them. Relief of command once I have the space, once I have the XP for that, because. This doesn't really get me much. I already have the infantry divisions I want. But the extra XP would be handy. This, I'm not sure what you'll go with. This is not going to be much use to me. 
fighting logistics. Eh. So either bold attack or tenacious defense. Since so we're going to be holding the line here, I suspect tenacious defense might be better. And since I now have enough XP for it, <clears throat> Air Doctrine. I'm going to go with Branch Independent Spirit. Now, this is buffed compared to the, the default game, which by default, this is point, point 0.1 daily instead of point 0.2, and minus 5% intelligence to it, 10%. So it's basically twice as good as what it usually is. As you can see, we're now gaining 0.5 air XP a day. That's just going to keep... The remainders of Norway. We need, we need more divisions. And since we're not too short on that sort of thing, I'm... Starting to run short on small arms now, but vampire, but I think we can manage. Hmm. Carl Gustav's Gewehr's factory. We will later go on to produce the Carl Gustav recoilless rifle. Now, Bofors have produced some of the best cannons in the world. In use today, in around since the 1600s. So we should encourage their development of better weapons so we can get into the competition. It means that support artillery, code anti-air, air and anti-tank will all be cheaper and we get extra artillery attack. No reason not to do this. So I've changed up the infantry division up, up to the classic 7-2. This used to be better, but now it isn't. As good as it used to be. It's still effective though. And I've added support anti-tank on because we have a lot of planes down here. And the Germans are going to send tanks with us. And this mod, apparently they make decent tanks. Of course, it's not going to go to this uh, Binair division who uh, I should probably add engineers onto them. So that they can help dig in a bit more effectively. And I'm also getting at this expanded departments now, so just so I can get a couple of extra spies in there. And to infiltrate their army because we need this. Of course. Yeah, I was trading away the factories for oil. I didn't time this very well, did I? I'm in Egypt, I know. Germany has just annexed um, Austria. It might be time we start looking for other trade partners. Ooh, Hellenic National. <laughs> Something here that's any really good, but we'll go with them. And he is going to build up that. Right, um, I'll get portable radios because it makes it we're less likely to get our people detected. After that, start building up the counterintelligence here. Small arms. A little bit ahead of the time, but it doesn't really matter too much. Right, what naval doctrine to go with? Fleet in being, which would buff our cruisers. We don't have any battleships or battlecruisers, do we? Or a convoy rating, which is just pure and pure anti. 
Thank you, Captain Obvious. Cruisers, light cruisers, and destroyers. Go at fleece and bean because. Well. Line main, lay, naval line main isn't really going to be a thing for us, but. Actually. Let's see if any of these. can do it. Well, what do you know? I don't usually bother with light line laying bonus. Let's just give this a try. Does mean I will have to have them ready to actually go during a. I'm just gonna put them on a, on patrol for now. I'm not gonna be effective at it because of low max speed, but so what? Right now that we have enough world tension, like twenty six or something like that, and sports support is over fifteen, we can conclude rearmament. Which is going to be good because we can increase our conscription law. We will need to do that. We don't have enough war support yet for partial mobilization, but there. Let's see, is there anything here that's actually good? Not really. Demolition next. Might be good for sabotage. Because what you really want for this is either infiltrator. Or producer, or nationality of the country you're infiltrating. <laughs> Anything else? I might just go with the Lotte Wiklund, aka okay, Raven. Well, that's not good. What's one of the guys doing? Wicklund, get to work. Media conference is taking place. The allies are forming. Things are starting to hot up. Well, it's now January 1939. Things are going to start hotting up a bit. Look at nothing's happening much at the moment, but. Basically, all of these tips I have can do here can do mine laying. So they're going to be set to mine laying as soon as the war breaks out. Plus, I've got this uh, upgrading the air fleet. It's only 21 days. This will do it. Saying now that I've got this is mine damage. Like it. Yeah, it's like it. So a lot of our a lot of our ships are old and dated. I'm gonna try updating some of these Gothenburgs to at least have some some radar, because they're gonna be quick to refit. Update the anti-air and well. They'll use a bit of a bit more fuel, but they'll be harder to spot for better detection. There's no reason for me not to do this. Well, looks like Mustache Man here is gonna decide on Czechoslovakia's fate. And so much for peace. We start getting. And of course, we don't have nearly enough small arms, so. Two more factories. Oh, 
let's slot them in after all these um super anti-air things let's try and shoot down as many fighters as we can get away with but yeah that's kind of by the mods Carpatho ukraine hmm That will work out too well for them. Hey, Shek. Thank you, son. And oh, poking each other. It's another mod I have. Just realized I probably need to get some troops for Iceland and Greenland. Never think of that. So between, sorry anyone who's watching from my side, I am not going to try pronouncing this. But we need a lot more guns. Gold tension has got to the point that we can at least start mobilizing our economy, which means are getting this civilian home guard which gives us some extra counterintelligence and stuff can't build a spy network in east east prussia boo hiss unfair yep things are starting to hot up even further German Reich has claimed Maymill. Are there now? Sooner or later, they're going to start. Oh, look. The Carpatho Ukrainian public has accused hack Hungary of using the hacks. <laughs> I should not find this mod as funny as I do. Border conflict here. Probably between Hungary and Poland. I have no idea. Now that I have a decent amount of political power to spare, I could save it up for extensive conscription later, or because of the um relief of command spirit I have, army advisors are cheaper and high command are cheaper. So infantry experts, artillery experts, no question about it. Come on, Germany. Throw yourselves against us. So yeah, upgrading the artillery. Upgrade our um, anti tank while masses. May start June. Up until, um, remember that they actually start doing things. Stealing some blueprints, actually. Yeah, let's steal a few blueprints from them, see if we can build up our industry a little bit. I think at this point their ports along here are going to be complete quickly. These things do build build quickly, that's the one good thing about them. Those anti-air. As quickly. Usually he's pursuing closer bonds with Germany. And we're getting towards the end of July. Things are going to kick off soon. They're all out on, on by escort. Change to. Artillery. 
I really need. Bring up to 1940, and we've got a small bonus here. First game, because we really need a lot of. This is going to carry. I know these aren't exactly the best planes we have, but I'll provide some extra air superior. And if it gets a little too hot there, I can probably try setting them to. Set them to intercept. Okay. Great. I'm upgrading one of our of our heavy cruisers to try and do some more damage. Nothing, else, nothing much I can really do with those. So, like a modernize the air force. The only thing that really watching drills. Yes. Probably won't be researched in time, but for now. Well, the garrisons that aren't going to be as good, but they don't need to be. Oh, and I also need a Greek. I never have. Tankwise, I might actually start researching medium tanks to provide some extra armor to, to the infantry. But again, that's a while away. Well, now, trade the, trade these two. Read attack and less. Or why not? Subs. Two days to complete with full, full dockyards. Probably not, but. Especially since there's a few that need. Yeah, that's like we only have about four dockyards we can spare for now, but a few days HMS Oscar II will be, Majesty Oscar II will be out of the dockyards and oh, even better. And for now, I'm just going to save up my political power because we are going to need it soon. They're probably not going to come for us immediately because they'll be focusing on Poland and the Low Countries. They'll probably end, end up declaring war on us to get us um, Schleswig. Yeah. So, interesting times of push. That means more subs. I just don't need a particularly good general here, but 
Hmm. What you do is sit on the yeah, we need a lot more of these guys. Iceland and Greenland. I am gonna devote some man some manpower to here to keeping them fr them garrisoned, but and the pharaohs. So Yan Mayan really is up there, but a whopping in civilian population. You know, I'm not even going to bother. Focus on the pharaohs because that's a great place for submarines to deny a lot of trade from. Same with Iceland, same with Scandinavia, maybe Greenland. Also, I think it might have. I know it doesn't. It doesn't actually have any food. Who? Yep, they just started declaring just my war goal on Belgium. Yeah, where Scania Vab is that does give us some extra motorization buffs. Basical infantry. Yeah. Well, probably not a completely awful thing in some places. How much used to me here? Yeah, because now I had I don't have enough of a network. I don't have a large enough network to get the or what they're doing. Bigger. The form department now. Expensive, but doing. Yep, Danzig or War is just about to kick off. Completely unexpected, but Chamberlain, I send my convoys just to send. Some of these old, older trains that we aren't using. That we can get some that yes. We'll save some of this power to maybe get some extra description later. Or go it almost always go at cultural norms as in Road to 56. Gain more resources, regain stability, factory output. Not, what's not to like? I'm not going to bother with any of these yet until, I, until I've got the good chunk of power because these will all reduce the power per day. Again, neither of these are particularly pressing right now. Go with something here, but now I think I'm going to nationalize Landsberg. and start decrypting the cipher for Germany. More subs. 
there's kind of a meta in this game that you shouldn't really bother with submarines unless you're doing, playing as a major power. Simply because they're that cheap, quick and cheap to get out. Those. Right, I never bother with these. Uh, what the hell, may as well. Is that one? Right. Right. They would get an off-map military factory, we would get two off-map. And as soon as we went to war, it would probably go lose that. Do not want. So we are going to nationalize Landsberg. Experience support. In what will not be any surprise, Poland has fallen. Now where the this guy gonna do? Modern army. Where is that? It's bonuses for support, artillery, and anti-air. Might be time to start boosting the boosting the resistance in Poland. Need plastic explosives. Well, we don't need them. They're just handy to have. We stole some extra better radar from the Germans. Right. Building up around here in Virginia. Is for any missions as usual. Germany has just declared war on the Netherlands. Means things are good. Yes. Things are starting to roll along now. I think that's probably a good place to stop for now. So, 